All right, so I have my materials. I have my sketchbook. I have my entry from yesterday completed. This is my reflection about how the coronavirus is affecting my life for the Artistic Response Project. I measured, I took my ruler and I measured four inches by six inches before I did my writing entry. And then with the room that I had left, I wrote my entry. Sometimes the days seem long. I have learned how to turn the news off and instead make good use of my time at home by getting work done, creating art, exercising, and checking up on the people I love to make sure they are okay. I tried to make a few phone calls, emails, or text messages to connect with distant friends and family each day. I'm so happy that spring has arrived and I'm getting to enjoy the sunshine outside safely, of course. So I then just did a bunch of a doodles illustrating my picture or illustrating my journal entry. And now I'm ready to begin creating my postcard. So you're using the sketchbook entry that you did from yesterday to create a postcard that you have the choice to send to the Artistic Response Project. You can use any paper, but I just took an old cereal box and I'm gonna measure four by six inches. All right, so I took an old oatmeal box because I want sort of a card stock feel to this. This is cardboard, but it's also thin enough to um, to cut out of like chipboard. So if you have chipboard, great. If you have an, you know, a cereal box that works just as well. So I cut out a side of it and I'm just gonna measure again, four by six inches because those are the dimensions uh, as a stand. Uh, so four inches wide, six inches long. And then I'm trying to make my lines as straight as possible by lining up the ruler with the edge of the paper. Okay. So long as your paper or whatever you're going to send in the mail to the Artistic Response Project is measured four by six inches. Next, I'm going to take my cardstock and I'm going to trace around the blank paper. And I want both sides to be covered. I could leave this like that and I could draw on this perfectly fine, but I want it blank. So it looks like I have enough room. Let's see what happens. And I'm just gonna take the piece that I cut out and trace the next blank piece of paper. And now I've created two blank sides to glue onto my postcard. Done. Okay, so I measured my blank four by six inch pieces of paper and I've glued it onto my chipboard or my or my oatmeal box. And I'm gonna go ahead and write the address to where this card is going. So on one side, I'm just going to write the address. I'm going to write Artistic Response Project. Make sure you write nice and neat. I could be doing a better job right now. And again, this address is written in your directions. And it's also on the Artistic Response Project. Last is Stanton, Michigan. And then the zip is 48888. And right now it's a little difficult to write in pencil because my glue is still drying. So I could have waited and then written the address. Now I'm gonna flip it over. So I pulled out my three favorite art materials. It's okay if you just have a pencil, you can create your final draft just using a pencil. That's totally fine. You could also use the digital sketch pad app. Is I just read through my entry and I just illustrated the best I could with little doodles. Um, I'm not gonna go exactly by my rough draft sketch. I'm just going to focus more on my materials. So I'm gonna start with, I have some oil pastels. I have Conti crayons, which is um, a more uh, condensed version. It's not as dusty as chalk pastels. So it's somewhere in the middle of a colored pencil and a, and a chalk pastel. So I'm gonna try to use warm colors for this. And then maybe I'm gonna point out some details using cold colors. I pause it. Here's to highlight, I'm gonna use less cool colors than I am going to use warm colors. So my warm colors that I chose were two oil pastels. I chose pink and orange for some parts. I'm going to use 
the um, darker green and emerald, it's kind of like an emerald green and uh, blue for the Conti. So I'm gonna set these two things aside just because I'm trying to use less colors, the least amount of colors as possible, less is more. This is just my way of doing it. Again, you can create however you want. And then I chose a warm color out of my chalk pastels. I have a different shade or tint of blue. I have a green and this orange. So before I go ahead and color a little more, I'm just going to outline some of my pencil before I blend because I'm going to use my finger or you can use a paper towel to blend in these dry materials here. So I'm just going to outline the words that I wrote. So I really want the words to stand out. And as I started blending this area that I wanted to fill up with blue, I was noticing that I was losing the letters. So I'm just going to outline them in Sharpie. I have a thin Sharpie and then I have a thick Sharpie. So I'm going to outline all the finer lines that I want to stand. Here's the finished product and the postcards ready to be mailed out. Again, I outlined the address in black marker and then this is the corner where the postage stamp is going to go. Remember to use your sketchbook entry as a starting point for inspiration. It will definitely help you. And I can't wait to see what you can come up with.